Hello lovelies, it's Miss Eddie Lace here on my Pen Up Glamour podcast and today I have an exclusive episode which is just going to be in audio form where I'm going to be discussing how to create your own stage name whether you're in pin up or burlesque. If you're a long time glamorous friend, welcome back. If you're new here, I share topics and tutorials on pin up burlesque and the glamorous lifestyle. If you love all these things, be sure to subscribe as I share new podcasts and videos every week. Today I am chatting all about stage names, how I made mine, how to create your own, and what sort of origin they come from. I'd love to hear from you either on social media or by commenting on this somewhere. If you do have a pinup name, how did you create that? What's the origin story? Do you have any fun things to share about your own pinup or burlesque name? While it's quite common for modern day pinups to have a stage name, it definitely has some historical roots as well. If you look at many of our famous pinup models and burlesque dancers, they often have a stage name for when they perform. Even our actors from the 1950s like Marilyn Monroe originally had the name of Norma Jean Mortison. One of the key reasons that stage names are utilized is they help us create a larger than life character. So we create a persona, we identify characterization aspects for this, and we often connect that to our stage name. In both historical and modern times, creating a stage name can also give us a bit of privacy. By not using our government name, we can protect ourselves in that aspect. This can be especially important if you do work in sex work or for people that do have jobs outside of pinup and burlesque and want to keep that separate from that work. In saying all of this, you don't have to have a stage name if you absolutely love your name or you have a fabulous stage worthy name already. You can definitely utilize this for both pinup and burlesque or whatever it is that you do. Some benefits to creating a stage name include obviously the privacy aspect which we've discussed, but you can also choose a unique name that really suits you and you can build your business based on that. When you get more into pinup and burlesque and more the professional aspect, you want to think of yourself more as a brand. So by having a unique name that you can easily connect to this, it'll be more searchable and unique on social media, for your website, for merchandising and anything else you desire. I think one of the really fun aspects of creating a stage name is you can create that so it can be something you can aspire to be, especially for our new pinups and new burlesque dancers. If you don't feel completely confident yet, you can have this stage persona and stage name and you can really embody that and feel that in that moment. And more often than not, when you start going into that character, the more you embody that, the more it will apply to yourself outside of that. For my stage name, it is Miss Lady Lace. My legal name is Nicole. I have no problem sharing that. It is quite often available on many of my accounts and I've used it many times before. But I actually created my stage name when I was 14 years old. I had a dream of being a burlesque dancer and pinup model one day, never really thinking I would actually be able to achieve that. And the name would probably be completely different if I created it at a different point in my life, but I have stuck with what I created then. I sat down and I created a brainstorm. So I wrote down names I liked. I wrote down my hobbies, personality traits I wanted to embody. I really tried to capture what sort of character I wanted to be. I started picking out names and combining them together to see what worked. And I came up with Lady because I wanted to be elegant and fancy and very feminine. And I added Lace because I love to sew and I love the fabric look of Lace. So I combined these two together. At this point, it was just Lady Lace and I actually used to use this as my username for lots of websites. I'm not sure if anyone else remembers but back a long time ago before Facebook was even really big there was a website called Vampire Freaks which was like a social media website for alternative people to connect together all across the world and they also did like local meetups. It was really cool. <laughs> Probably sounds a bit funny now. It's kind of like a Facebook group essentially with these little sub pockets on the internet where people could get together. But I used Lady Lace on there and that was kind of my username for a really long time. And when I actually started to do pin up and burlesque, I continued to use this. I did add the Miss Lady Lace aspect onto it and it was actually because my husband, who was only my boyfriend at the time, 
gifted me a necklace that said Miss Lady Lace and I really liked the sound of it. And this was actually really helpful later for more branding and social media. Just the term Lady Lace didn't directly connect back to me. There's lots of fashion companies that'll have like a dress called the Lady Lace because it's got lace on it and it's feminine. By adding the Miss in front of Lady Lace, it made it a lot more searchable. And when people were looking for me online or on Facebook or Instagram, it was much easier to search. So now we'll get into how you can create your own stage name. I know many of you listening will already have a pinup or burlesque name, so don't forget to let me know all about your stage name and how you created it. If you don't though, let's get into how you can create your stage name. I kind of explained a little bit on how I created my own stage name and I'd recommend you do the same as well. So I sat down with a piece of paper, but you can do it on a computer if you're more digitally inclined and you want to brainstorm some ideas. So think about your nicknames, your interests, your hobbies. Think about all the things you love and then also think about the character of your stage persona that you wanna create. And maybe you have no idea yet, but brainstorm separately your character. Are you cute and classic? Are you comical and hilarious? Are you sultry and smooth? What sort of elements do you want to convey in your character? Keep in mind what you write down is not set in stone. You don't have to do that every time you go on stage, but it can be good to think about your stage persona as a person. How would they move? How would they act? What are their traits? By having a clear vision on what you want to be, it can help you develop that further. I would recommend, unless you have a lot of acting experience, I'd recommend looking at your own personality and taking traits from this and amplifying it. At the beginning of our performance journey, it can be very difficult to portray something that we're not at all. When it comes to my own pinup and burlesque persona, I'm very classic, very vintage, very glamorous. I wouldn't say comical and hilarious are my biggest aspects. When I convey it on stage, it's a little bit more of that accidental kind of slapstick funny rather than deliberate over the top comedy that some people can pull off really well. So to start with, I think it's best to look at our own persona and amplify what we already have. Once you have this list created, you can start to go through and look at what names stand out to you. Generally, it's a good idea to have at least two names included to create your stage name. While you can just be a Madonna if you choose, it can be very difficult to create something both unique and easy to find on social media or something that's not already been taken. Which brings me on to our next point in making sure that you create something really unique. While many of us may not explore the more professional side of things, it could definitely lead in that direction. So it can be good to create something that is completely unique to you as much as possible. For instance, you wouldn't want to call yourself Dita Von Tees since we already have an iconic Dita Von Tees. I'd also recommend avoiding some of those classic pinup names. There's some really iconic ones that are used very regularly. I won't mention any because I don't want to make anyone feel bad. But there are already a lot of names that are used very regularly, so it's good to find something that is a little bit different and still suits you. To ensure you're not taking someone else's name, there's some really basic checks that can be really easy to do. If you go onto Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and search that name, see if any other pinup or burlesque dancers come up. And there are also lots of burlesque and pinup stage name databases, so you can go onto there and have a quick search to see if anything is popping up there. And if not, it sounds like you found something fabulous. The next step that would be really fabulous to take is to go secure that name on Instagram, Facebook, anywhere that you want to use social media, just so you know that name will be ready when you're ready to start delving a little bit more into pinup or burlesque, whether that's more as a hobby or as a profession. If you do change your stage name, you can very easily change that on your social media as well. I have a beautiful friend of mine who recently transitioned from doing just pinup to pinup up and burlesque and she wanted to change her stage name i won't mention what it was before her username was part-time pinup but now it's clementine divine which is just so fabulous and i think it'll really suit where she wants to go with her work So it can definitely be done. It is a little bit harder if you're an established performer. So if you have a reputation with your name, if you're a full-time burlesque performer and you change your name, it can be harder for clients to connect to you. But if you are still just doing classes or 
Even if you change your mind later, it is still possible. A really fabulous thing we can do is utilize our stage name and stage persona to help develop ourselves fully. When I created my stage name and I wrote down some elements that I wanted to have in my persona, I included like glamorous and elegant and confident. These were all things that I aspired to be more in my everyday life. And by including them in my pinup persona, I could embody them and utilize those when I needed. The more that I did these things, the more I told myself that I'm beautiful, I'm confident, I'm all these amazing things, the more I started to believe that myself. Having the character also gave me confidence in dressing in a different way, so it helped me unlock so many different aspects to my life. To paraphrase a very famous quote from RuPaul, the power that you have inside drag, you can also apply outside drag. And he often utilizes that in the show RuPaul's Drag Race, He'll often tell competitors, if you're talented in this way, it can be applied in many different ways. And this applies so completely to pinup as well. The confidence you have on stage, the talent you have when you sew and create something, the beauty that you can convey through your makeup, these are all talents that you have both in and out of pinup, both in and out of makeup, in any aspect of your life, you can take that energy and channel that into whatever you're doing, whether that is just going down to the shops, trying to get a promotion at work, trying something outside your comfort zone. These are all things we can utilize to really embody that character outside of what we use the character for. The most important aspect when creating your stage name and persona is creating something that you love and something that suits it's you. Most of us are in pinup and burlesque because we're so passionate about that. So let that be an extension of your passion in creating a name that you can really identify with and share your passions with the world with. This has been my topic on how to create your stage name. There's definitely many ways you can do this, but I truly hope you found today's topic to be a little bit of fun and maybe a bit useful for your journey too. If you'd like early access to these episodes, I do have my glamour community on Patreon. I'd like to do a big thank you to all my patrons, but especially my VIP Glamour patrons and Burlesque Glamour students. To follow my daily pinup adventures, I post super regularly to Instagram and TikTok. Simply follow at Miss Lady Lace and be sure to drop me a message so I can follow you back too. To never miss out on an upload, be sure to subscribe to my Glamour channel and I'll see you all next week. Stay glamorous!